stuff done off camera already. I'm going to show you guys what I got going on. Also, I have a bit of a surprise for you guys. So stay tuned and see what we got going on. Okay guys, so quick little story here. Um, my whole time owning this car, I didn't realize that this the whole time this car was um, automatic. So I had to, actually had to go to the junkyard and um, get the clutch pedal assembly and, uh, and a line as you can see here of the, um, the A82 Corollas, which um, I'm thinking I did some research and I'm, I'm hoping that the pedal and the, the, the uh, brake assembly, um, the brake pedal assembly is the same. So we're gonna go ahead and get these cleaned up and uh, installed in the car today. I'm gonna go ahead and, and respray them over with some black can spray. Um, Cause once I install these, I'm not gonna really remove them again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint those up. And I actually got a nice little junkyard score, man. In the process of going through the, the junkyard, picking up these pedals, I came upon these brakes right here. I was actually walking out the junkyard and I, and I actually seen these on, um, I don't remember what year it was, but it was a uh, Mercedes ML 550, I think, AMG. So, you know, if you're gonna build a car to go fast, you gotta be able to stop. So, I'm, at some point, I'm gonna try to fab these up to the car, to the um, car somehow. You know, it's just probably, hopefully I get lucky and I just have to make a simple bracket um, and um, get them mounted up to the car. Also, I'm gonna be changing the rotors. I just went online and I, um, did a little research everybody talks about the uh, the mini cooper rotors on the honda civic so i went a step above that and i uh, actually Bumble makes uh i think these are um if i'm not mistaken they're um, what size are they again 316 millimeter rotors i think so i'm gonna mock those up to the car today and see how everything is coming out so you guys are gonna be able to see that so I think there's a company that makes a, a big brake kit for the Corollas here, but I mean, that's probably like $2,000 for that whole kit, so I just wanted to um, put a kit together so if anybody behind me wants to try and do the same, and it doesn't cost much. I think I paid probably like 80 bucks for the four calipers in the junkyard, so that was a that was a good deal. I couldn't pass up on that, so, and the rotors only cost me like a hundred and something dollars, so. I'll later on put the part number of the uh, the rotors and everything that I'm using for anybody that probably wants to do this kit. Um, I think this rotors will fit on the the newer Corollas also. So, all right. So let me get going here, cleaning these brackets up. I mean these um, yeah, the clutch assembly up, and then we'll we'll get to all this today. Also, I bought the wheels that I'm going to be showing that I'm going to be using on the car. So I can test fit everything with the, the roller clearance and the uh, all that stuff to see if I can even get close to what I need to go. And uh, we'll get that done today too also. So that's gonna be the surprise. I, I haven't revealed what kind of wheels I'm gonna be running on this car today. But at the end of this video, you guys will see what wheels I'm gonna be running. They're right, sitting right there in that box. So. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys, you know, paint it up now. I mean, it, it don't have to be all perfect. You're just trying to get a little bit of paint on it. Doesn't have to look like Picasso himself painted them. Just to get some paint on it from the raw metal surface. So. All right, so we're gonna let these dry and then we'll get them installed in the car. Quick little update on the throttle body situation here. I know in um, previous videos I mentioned I was gonna run a spacer on it. I went ahead and I scrapped that idea. 
Also, I know you guys can realize that I went ahead and took the condenser back out because we're having a little clearing, clearance issue right here with the, uh, the throttle position sensor. So we're not gonna run that anymore. So I'm just basically gonna build, bolt the throttle body straight to the, um, to the intake manifold like that. And then now what I'm gonna do, I went ahead and purchased these um, beautiful, nice vibrant clamps. So this is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna just go ahead and put this on right here. And we're gonna just make a nice little elbow down into the fender right here. Like I said, I'm gonna take out that washing fluid and, and um, just pour maybe a three inch hole right here down to the inner cooler. And this is how we're gonna rock this. So this is how this is gonna pan out. As far as the the, the, the blow off valve, the blow off valve most likely is gonna have to sit probably up under the fender, probably like right around here, down here somewhere. So you're not gonna be able to see the blow off valve. And then on the exhaust side now, I got the uh, another vibrant clamp to go on the exhaust side. So keep in mind, this is not the turbocharger I'm gonna use. This is just a mock-up one. So I guess I'm gonna do a nice little. I guess when it comes off the um, the Toba charger, I'm gonna go ahead and do a nice little elbow and this other clamp is gonna sit right here so I can easily disconnect it here if I need to. And it's gonna run and go down to the, um, the inner cooler. So that's just an, an update on that. All right, so um, pretty much the only thing else we have to do now is uh, run fuel lines and I'm gonna probably get into that on, on the upcoming videos, but for now, the only other thing I can do today, I can't do any type of welding today because I ran out of gas and I have to go get gas and, it's on, and I'm filming on a Sunday, so none of those places are open. So if I'm going to do anything today, it's just going to be mock-up and stuff like that. So what I can do is put on the, um, try and mock up the front brakes and see how that's going to come out. So let's get into that and um, see how that's going to come out. So master cylinder is installed now. I went ahead and, and mounted the uh, master cylinder. This is just a mock-up master cylinder that I got from the junkyard. It seems like I'm mocking up everything, but you know, sometimes you have to do this to get things right before you actually start putting in the, um, the parts that you're gonna use. So I'm not gonna use that one. I'm gonna buy a brand new one, but it's in the line. What um, I'm gonna just run the line probably, the factory line from the Toyota runs all the way around to the firewall, but I'm probably gonna change up the routing. I'm just gonna, Probably come off the master cylinder and then run down to the body light right here. Probably loop under the mount and then come across to the tranny to the slave cylinder. So that's how I'm gonna run that. So let me show you the inside. It's kind of dark in here, but we have a clutch pedal now, guys. I don't know if you can see that, but I went ahead and changed the brake pedal too because you can't really use the brake pedal once you go manual from the automatic because it's too wide. So you don't want to be pressing on brakes and the clutch pedal at the same time. So. Alright, so that's done. Okay, so let's get started here. So one of the first things I want to do right now, I know you have to compare the old rotors to the new rotors to see the, the, uh, the size difference. So let's... Uh, Let's see how much bigger the uh, the rumble motor is to this. I'm not sure the the millimeter specs on this one. I know my new one is um what did I say it is again? Uh, 360 millimeters. I'm not sure what the factory one is. This one like it's probably a hundred and something millimeters. I'm uh, I would have to look that up. But let's compare a hundred and something millimeters to to uh, 360 millimeters and see what that looks like. see this one is a lot bigger than the factory one try to put them up against each other now and see how good you guys can see that so look at that so you can see it's a big big difference way more um, 
great conservatives to stop. Like I said, I'm gonna probably start off with um, about 500 horsepower in this car and then later on I'm gonna try to go for more. So you need all the stopping power you can get, guys. Brakes are very important. Doesn't make sense to go fast if you can't stop. All right. So let, let's get this on the car. hurdle now when I originally looked up these rotors I just went ahead and just bought them based on size and um, and uh, wheel lock pattern so I didn't expect them to bolt directly up with no issues I know I would have to modify something or even make something to make it work properly so my first thing I'm gonna have to get um, a hub centering uh, some type of centering thing to center the rotor some because the, uh, the rotor is not sitting this bore is different than the factory bore from the, um, the Toyota, so we're gonna have to get some type of. Uh, I'm gonna have to get some adapter made or something to go between there. But I mean, as far as everything else, I mean, looks like it can work. Of course, you know you're gonna have to you're gonna have to take off the uh, the dust shield on the back. I mean, that's a given with all big brake kits, so that's gonna have to come off. Um, all right, so let's mock up the, um, see if we can find some way to mock up the rotor. I mean, not the rotor, the brake, the uh, caliper and see what we're dealing with. Okay guys, so this is where we're at so far. So right now I just have the um, the, 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 uh, the caliper just lightly mocked up on there for now. It's not bolted down or anything like that. This is just to give us an idea what everything is going to look like. Uh, so yeah, looking good so far guys, looking good so far. Like I said, this is a low budget brake kit. I mean, uh, this, this kit should work on the, uh, the AE92s and, and the AE82s. So, I'm probably gonna give the uh, part number on the, the rotor if anybody wants to um, try to do this kit. And like I said, I just went to the, I, just, I was basically walking out the junkyard and I saw these calipers just sitting there. So, I just went ahead and grabbed them and, you know, just hoping that they can probably possibly work on this car. So, but it's looking good so far, man. As far as the, uh, the brake master cylinder, of course, when you, um, you run bigger calipers that factory master cylinder i don't think that's gonna have that gonna have the capability of pushing enough brake fluid to that caliper to make it work efficiently so that's gonna have to get replaced um, probably thinking about doing maybe like something like a camry one of the newer camrys or even maybe a toyota 4runner uh, master cylinder so you know i'm gonna do my research on that and play around with a couple master cylinders let me show you guys around the back side. Let me go up a little higher with the car first. Now this is a point where I wish I had some fancy CNC machine to um, to just fab up a quick bracket and get this thing working. The way it's gonna work so but unfortunately I don't have that luxury so I'm gonna have to get back here and um, see what I can do as far as a bracket but you know just to show you guys how close it is so far and then that one is almost on that bracket and I mean the, the, the caliper is not centered anyways the calipers probably can go up a little higher I just basically have it mocked up just for just to see what we're dealing with but yeah 
it shouldn't be it shouldn't be that difficult to make a bracket for it. I already have an idea how I'm gonna do it anyways. So alright guys, so this is what it's looking like. So I guess the last piece is I already bought wheels for this car maybe like a, almost a year or two now, so um doesn't really make sense to put a big brake kit if your wheels that you're gonna run on the car can't fit, so that's the last step of this whole process. Let me go ahead and um, I didn't want to reveal the wheel I was going to put on here now, but in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and just do a quick little test fit to make sure the rotor and the uh, caliper is clearing the wheel. So you guys get a, a little bonus today, as you can say, to uh, see what wheels I'm going to run on this. So, All right, so let's get the wheel on and see what she's looking like. Alright guys, so these are the wheels I uh, opted to um, run on the uh, the FX. I had these wheels, you can tell a long time judging by the condition of the box. But um, yeah, I'm gonna, these are, these are it guys. Time for the big reveal. Alright, so these are the, um, the 1552s. Ah, let me take them out of the box. Oh. So these are the Tarmac 5052s. Um, I actually got these at a really good deal. Um, they were, this guy had them on sale. So I jumped on them. This is not really the color that I really wanted. I really wanted the more of the, uh, the grayish color. So, but since I got them cheap, I just went ahead and rocked them. So let's get, let's go ahead and put them on the car and uh, see if they clear the brakes, like I'm hoping they will. Let's see what we got to do to adjust whatever adjustments we got to make. Yeah, I don't know, man. That caliper kind of sticks out kind of far. I mean, you can see from the. Um, Jesus, this thing sticks out kind of far, man. I don't know, man. What do you guys think, man? You think this wheel is gonna fit on here with um, without any type of uh, rubbing or anything? Only one way to find out. Let's get on and see if I got lucky again. All right. Moment of truth. Doesn't look good, but uh, here we go. Oh man. Oh Jesus. It's kind of close. All right, guys, so there you have it. It looks like this is gonna be a success. We have plenty of space between them um, down by the caliper. I mean, given the bracket is not made or anything like that, and it's not really 100%, but I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. The, uh, now good you guys can see that. We have plenty of space from the, uh, the top rim. We're not gonna be able to, we're not gonna touch on that. So that looks good. Bottom part looks good. Yeah. And I can fit shit. I can fit almost my cell phone in between here. So this is good. So We're looking good guys. Here she goes. Now, of course, I can't make a bracket today because I don't I, like I said I have to get uh, I have to get gas for the welder. So we're gonna have to pick up on that another day. As far as the uh, the wheel specs, I, I didn't I don't know if I mentioned it, but these are uh, 17 by uh, 8. I'm not sure of the offset. I mean, that's for um, anybody that needed to know. I mean, 
I mean, we should be good with the um, they don't have too much stick out I want the I want the wheels to sit really real flush with the fender so okay as far as the, the back now I have the back calipers here for, for the, the Mercedes also but I have here I don't know I haven't really done any research and figure out what rotors I want to run in as far as the uh, the back so I'm gonna leave that for another day um, uh, most likely it's probably gonna be some type of Civic Rotor or something like that. Because this car, I can't run a, I was thinking about an A86 or even an S13 Rotor, but I can't run that Rotor because I think the lug pattern for that is 4x114 and I have to run a 4x100, so that's not gonna work, so. But once I figure it out, you know, I'm, I'll bring it to you guys. But as far as the front, seems like we're on our way with the front. Like you know, she's coming out so far. All right, so that's that for that, guys. All right, guys. So this is the end of the update video on the FX. Uh, so we got the uh, the brakes sorted out. We got uh, we got the clutch installed and the shifter box and everything. So I guess the next thing I'm gonna move on to is um, getting the um, the fuel lines done. I still have to drop the gas tank on there to make sure that the gas tank is in good condition. Ever since I bought this car, I never even dropped it to see if the gas tank is all rusted out. So, that's upcoming on the next episode. So, keep on supporting the channel, guys. All right, make sure you like and subscribe. And tell a friend to tell a friend. All right, till next time. Our existence is something that is spontaneous. Your hair grows by itself. Your heart beats by itself. You breathe pretty much by itself. You don't have voluntary control of these things. So we say it happens spontaneously. Try to breathe with a real heart. You find you get balled up. Not a little girl.